The blanking window is a very important feature of microset and you should understand how it works. It causes microset to ignore any sounds that occur outside a window of time when the tick is likely to occur. This greatly reduces false triggering when using an acoustic sensor on noisy clocks and watches. It can also prevent a false reading if you drop a screwdriver on the table or the sensor cable gets bumped. The blanking window greatly reduces these sources of error. It's built into every microset timer and can't be turned off, but you can change the size of the window for different situations. To see or change the size of the blanking window, enter the configuration mode by holding down the mode key as you push and release reset. The first setting in the configuration mode is to turn the beep on or off. Press the mode key to skip this setting and press mode again to skip the next setting as well. The LCD screen will then say blanking followed by a number. The number is the relative size of the blanking window. This is the relative amount of time microset will not listen after each beat. To increase the setting, press the plus button. To decrease the setting, press the minus button. For general clock work, I set the blanking window to a size of 8. If you work with watches, the size must be smaller because they beat faster than clocks. I usually set it to 4 for watches. To enter your setting and return to normal operation, press the reset button. You can evaluate the size of your blanking window by watching the red light on the front of microset when it's running the time mode. The LED will stay lit for the duration of the blanking time, then go off when microset begins to listen for beats again. Ideally, the light will be on for most of the time between beats, then go off briefly. This means that microset is immune to noise until just before the next beat arrives. If the LED spends a lot of time turned off between beats, it's more vulnerable to extraneous noises that can disturb a reading. You can increase the setting of the blanking window to more closely match the beat time of the clock you're measuring. If the setting of the blanking window is too large, microset will not be listening when the next beat arrives, and it will read every other beat. The rate reading will then appear to be twice as slow as the clock really is, and you'll need to decrease the setting of the blanking window. There is a special feature in microset to automatically maximize the setting of the blanking window to be as close as possible to the beat time of the clock you're currently measuring. To maximize the blanking window, put microset in the time mode and press the begin button to measure the clock. Confirm that the LED is blinking reliably on each beat and that each new rate value is being displayed on the LCD screen. Then, carefully, so as not to introduce any noise by your action, hold down the plus button. After a moment, the LED should come on and stay on. This is confirmation that the blanking window has been set. You can now release the plus button. The blinking pattern of the LED will now be different. It will stay on for longer at each tick. When the LED is on, the blanking window is active and microset is deaf. When the LED goes off, microset starts listening for the next tick. If things are set correctly, the LED will go off for a very short time before it comes on again. This indicates that microset is ignoring sound most of the time, then listens for a very short time before the next tick arrives. If I tap on the table, it's likely that the rate will not be disturbed most of the time. To return to the default setting for the blanking window, hold down the minus button until the LED comes on and stays on. This indicates that the blanking window has been restored to the default setting. If I tap on the table now, it's likely that the rate will be disturbed and some of the readings will be very much out of the normal range.